Hey everybody and welcome back to UE5 BP Guru. Today uh, we're going to be looking at something um, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more complex. Um, I don't necessarily consider this as beginner stuff, but um, it's not quite intermediate stuff. It's, it's kind of along the way. We're ramping up now our tutorials a little bit. Um, today we're going to be looking at dynamic footsteps. Um, something that every game needs uh you can have just a standard footstep that's always a lot easier to implement but i like to do something a little bit more interesting a little bit more kind of triple a and not so indie <laughs> if if you like um and that's uh gonna be what we're covering today so um a lot of this works better for a lot of rpg games or like environmental games where you've got grass and mud and rock and things like that I don't think I'll be using a lot of different footstep sounds, but this gives me the option now to do that if I want to. Um, like you might want to walk into uh, a slimy pool of something and have squish sounds, you know, things like that. Uh, and that's what we're gonna be covering today. So we've got our sounds here. Um, the first thing we want to do is set up a couple of audio cues so go into sound and set up one and we'll call this um, we'll call this metal Q uh, metal underscore foot step underscore Q uh, and the next one will I've gone for wood I'm not gonna really I don't think I'm gonna need a wood sound who knows but uh, just in case uh, I do we'll go for the sound this is more for the tutorial because I haven't really planned what each of my floors are going to be yet. That's going to be more on a kind of level by level sort of basis. Uh, but for now, let's go metal footstep. Drag in. I've got two metal sounds and one wood sound. So um, drag those in. Actually, it might be concrete. It doesn't. Really <laughs> it doesn't matter at this point. I can source some better sounds down the line the, the metal one will probably be the one I use the most though so click on that and then put that output in so get a random put in the output we don't need to do much else with that bit uh, the next one is just wood and as I've only got one wood I'm gonna just chuck in the one for now but again we can set this up um, at a different time oh it's not come through why is it not done that um, where oh I've got two of them now it is wood. I did get the wood one. There we go. I thought it was concrete for a second. Okay, good. Um, close those two down now. So those are all set up. Good to go. We The next thing we want is a um, physics material. And just click on physics material. Select that. Call one metal footstep underscore um, PM for physics material and then we're going to set up another one of those or you can just copy and paste to be honest it doesn't really make much difference <clears throat> um, rename and call this you probably guessed it wood foot step underscore PM or you know whatever so those have set those two up uh, there's something we need to do in the project sentence for this um, go down to physics and scroll down and there should be a lovely long list of physical surfaces what we want to do you get like 60 odd of these 62 um, I don't know anyone who could even name 64 different surface types but if you can list them in the comments below 64 <laughs> I don't want to hear 30 I want to hear 64 different types of surface that you could walk in in a video game if you have a list you you send them my way so the first two we're obviously going to use is wood and metal. You can change these, it, it really makes not that much difference. Um, but once you've got all ones, if you've got all 64 of your surface types you want in your game, chuck them all in and you're good to go. Um, then we want to open up both of these uh, physics materials. Set the wood footstep to wood. Save, close, open up the metal default change that to metal save uh, oh look at us look at us go we're well away um, that's those two done 
Uh, next we want to find these materials. So easiest thing to do is set it to whatever you want it to be and then find it in the, um, in the content folder. Open it up. And all we want to do is on the right, on the left hand side, sorry, set up the physics material to the one we've just created. So uh, this one's wood. So let's find that wood footstep PM. Save that. Um, might take a couple of seconds. Okay, so once that one's done, do the same thing with the steel material. Open it up. Now you can set quite a few different um, materials under this phys physics material. Uh, so it kind of does work pretty well for like multiple materials if you want the same sound, for example. Um, so save that one and then close it down once it's saved. Once that's saved, close it down. So now that we've got everything sort of set up in the background areas, so all we need to do now is um, for the setup side of things is find our uh, third person. I just need to find our anim BP. Uh, no, I don't actually. I can probably go into one of these. So for every walking animation we have or crouching animation we have, we need to do this setup on. So you can imagine we have to do this for all the walking idols or the pistol hip uh, animations or the aiming down iron sight animations. Same for all the crouch versions as well. So this part will take you a while. I'm just going to do this for walking and then I'll replicate this off screen for the others um, once this tutorial is over. So click on your walk first. Where is that? Let's, what's it called first? MM walk. So MM, M, and there is, is it walk forward? Yeah, and the other one is going to be run forward. So we'll open up the walk forward first. So, oh, it's already got some notifiers in here. Lovely stuff. Uh, so we've got L and R. Let's make our. Right, okay, let's pause this bad boy because he's moving a bit faster than my liking. Now, I'm just going to set uh, a new notify. Just for my own sanity. And I'm going to call this uh, footstep. That's all I want to know is our footstep, right? Put that one there. And then here I'm going to... Um, add another one and I'm, I'm just going to use the one I'm going to make because I'm going to use the same one for everything again it's mainly for my own sat, uh, sanity that I'm doing this so uh, add the footstep in there I'm just going to copy what they've done because it's obviously correct but I just want to you be able to call the same uh, notify for all of my skeletons I don't want to do any of this nonsense left right left right business it's unnecessary and it angers me, no, I'm <laughs> it doesn't anger me. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna call my one because then I, I, I know what I'm doing. Uh, footstep and plug that in at the end, like so. So let's just check that that is correct. There's a footstep, there is a footstep, there is also a footstep, and there is a footstep, great. Do the same for the run forward. And again, I'm going to assume that they have set this all up correctly. Again, just going to use my own notify because um, I don't want to call left and right uh, every time. So bear with me while I do this. Um, uh, it's going to go to wherever the thing is, isn't it? There we go. Copy and pasting is definitely a lot faster, for sure. Last one, we'll drag him. Oh, no, I don't want the left one. Not that it matters because we're not going to use it, so let's pull that there. Okay, so all of our footsteps now should be in the correct place for our walk and run. We obviously don't need to do the idle because we don't want anything to play while we're idle. So save the that and give it a close, um, and that should be set up for the walk. Now, again, as I said, do the same thing for your walk pistol um, and your walk rifle animations. 
and all for your crouches as well so that won't work if i pull a pistol out for example but it will work while we're doing uh, our walking so we're only going to test the walking for now so the next thing we want to do now is we do want to find the lmbp now because we need to do some editing within that so uh oh where is oh there it is there we go uh, and then we find the mesh and it's so much easier just to open up the bp because i know where it had the blueprint because i know where it is and it can take me straight to my uh, manny bp uh, and we want to do this on the event graph this is an event graph function and we want to call um the add anim notify event and we want it to be the footsteps and we're going to do a line trace by channel running so many line traces on our character these days um, we want to get player character oh. and we want to get player lo oh. get location get actor location and this can be plugged in directly to the start then we just want to do the end at minus, uh, probably I'd say 150 Z. I, I don't think you'll need more than that or less than that. That should be about right. Uh, and all that's gonna do is it's just checking to see where the location of our actor is and it's checking the down vector of our character. So it's just checking below its feet to see what material was stood on. Could get confusing if you had two different materials straight together, but it shouldn't do for it flew out. I mean, testing wise, it might mess up a bit. But flu for flu added, if that is even a word, for the fluidity of it all, um, I hope that's the right word, um, it should be quite fluid and work well. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, the next thing we want to do. So I've broken that off. Oh, the next thing I want to do is get surface type. There we go. Um, and we want to get the E switch on e surface type there we go that's what i was looking for and we want it to be on the true if we're not on any of these we don't want it to do anything of course uh and then we want to play sound at location just like that and we want to do this twice and we want to do that for metal and what that location is going to be is just the location point here so wherever the, that Z is hitting, it's going to basically check for the surface type um, from this trace. It's going to see what it can find. And if it's any of these two, it'll play the sound. And we want that to be our wood footstep cue. And we want this to be our metal footstep cue. And all that's left to do now is just to give it a try and make sure it's working. I want to make sure my sound is up. Oh yeah, that's definitely up. Right. So it's not going to play anything on the normal. There you go. You should be able to hear the heavy footsteps on the wood. And then the sort of metal-y sound on that. That works so well. And as I said, you can basically make up to 64 different surface types and you can add those surface types uh, to a physics material that you can add to a number of um, different materials. So you could set up three different uh, metal types on floors. I don't know why you'd need that many, but you could. But play the same metal sound for each of those three materials without any issues whatsoever. But this is set up now, so I, I mean, once I get going with level design, I can easily implement now um, a, a number of footstep sounds depending on what I need. I mean, for me, it's going to be majority of it is going to be metal, but I might want different metal twangs depending on where we are. I might want more echoey metal sounds if I'm in a certain area, like in the maintenance halls. Um, but I might want a different metal sound when I'm in another area. You know, you can sort of make different metal types footstep sounds for different areas and things like that as well it's not just differentiating wood to metal to plastic to grass to dirt for example but hopefully this was helpful for you i will replicate this now along across all my uh different animations it should be easy, as easy as just putting that footstep 
uh, notify in where the footsteps land in your animations and it should all work completely the same so hopefully you've enjoyed this um, tutorial thank you so much guys uh, for all the support we hit 250 subs so you know super super happy with uh, you guys and, and I, I you know it's you guys that make this channel so I appreciate every single one of you that does hit that sub button um, next goal is 500 of course um, so leave a comment leave a like if you need any tutorials you can also join, join the discord it's in the description and of course um, sub if you would I would, I would really appreciate it thanks so much guys take care bye